Netflix is always watching. Where's Netflix? Netflix is always watching. Let's coin something else. Um. <laughs> Thanks, lady. So we have a morning smoothie here. I've got bananas in the background. This is a stash. Keep them out on the floor, and that way you can see which is right. Get onto them quick. Compost bin. And I've got about got about a kilo worth of bananas. These are about a thousand calories of bananas. Got some filtered water in there. I've got a mix of sugars here. So you've got all types of different sugars. You've got this standard sugar from Mauritius. This one from Mauritius. This one's a fair trade one from Philippines. Organic. This one's organic coconut sugar. You can use whatever sugar you want. People say, what sugar should you use? Whatever you like. Whatever you like. Any sugar will work. Feed the glycogen storage in your body. That's what you want. And you've got variety. Whatever you like the flavor. What I use is a little measuring cup here. Just a measuring cup. You don't have too much sugar. Let's put some sugar in here. So we have here a 500 gram bag of sugar. This one's pretty tasty as well. It's probably used already half already. So it's probably... So just a little bit of sugar, because sugar is fattening, cause obesity. Just a little bit of sugar in there. And then we just pour a bit more in there. And that's probably about, you know, 150, 200 grams. There we go. And that's how you measure your sugar out. And here we have the smoothie. Here we have the smoothie. Mm. Mm. That is so sweet. That is so sweet. Sweeter than ice cream with maybe 2,000 calories, maybe two or three, four grams of fat. That's what I'm talking about. So that brings me to the a subject is do not I'm addicted to food, mate. I've got a food addiction. Well, I'll tell you fucking what, man. Fucking me too. I'm addicted to food too. I'm a fucking addicted to breathing. I can't go a minute. I can't go a single fucking minute without breathing in some oxygen. That's how fucking addicted I am. I can't go a single minute. So I'm a fucking breath addict, uh, oxygen addict. Food addict, man. Food addiction? Food fucking addiction? Who the fuck tells people they're addicted to food? People who want to make a lot of money off you. You've got a food addiction. You need to come back and we'll do some therapies. We'll do some therapies on you because you've got food addiction. Fuck off. You got a food addiction as much as you got a fucking oxygen addiction. A sleep addiction. I'm so addicted to sleep, I have to sleep every single day of my life. And if I don't get that sleep, I don't feel good. Because I'm addicted to sleep. I'm a sleep fucking junkie. Addicted to food. But do not, you understand, I eat donuts instead of fruit. Yeah, because the fruit you eat tastes like fucking shit. If you have a donut smoothie, you're not going to want to eat donuts. But I can eat donuts if I want. I can go get vegan donuts. I'll go out and make another video about that. When you carb up on the quality, you don't want to binge out on the whatever. Binge on the best. Don't try and stop being a binge eater. Just fucking carb the fuck up on your favourite things. And make sure they're sweet and tasty and low fat and vegan. And you're sorted. So you're too skinny, do you know? You look like an Auschwitz person or whatever. But you eat too much. You've got a food addiction, and you're a binge eater too, Duran. You should come see my therapist. If I went to see your therapist, I'd tell your therapist to carb the fuck up and harden the fuck up and stop fucking ripping people off and making them feel guilty for what's natural. You're meant to fucking eat. So bottom line, carb up on high-quality, low-fat plant foods. I can eat whatever the fuck I want to eat. I can go and get vegan donuts like that. I can, I can, get, I can get vegan donuts delivered to my door. I can eat 10, 20 vegan donuts, no worries. But I wouldn't eat that much because I know that much fat in the donut is going to take my shine off for the next day. All right, so I can eat a vegan donut now and then, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't mono meal vegan donuts like I would with banana smoothies. And people might go, "Yeah, well, that's what I'm trying to do, Harley." But I just can't control myself because you don't fucking eat enough simple sugars from fruits or add sugars to your rice. When you okay, here's here we go. Here's the bottom line thing with food addiction: you need to have enough simple sugars every day. And when you get your simple sugars in, isn't it amazing how easy it is to say no to other things? Because you're like, well, I'm done. I'm good. You know, might have a little snack here and there, but I'm, I don't want to, like, go crazy on it. Because you go crazy on the good stuff. And that's the secret. So food addiction is just a term therapists or whatever use to make you feel guilty so they can do the transaction of your money 
into their fucking wallet, their purse, their financial transaction. That's what they're doing. That's all it is. It's to make you feel guilty for something that's normal, natural, and healthy. So carve the fuck up. Food addiction? I've got a fucking food addiction. How about you? There's people who might say, but you, you're a guy and it doesn't apply to girls. Well, he's freely, he's freely, slim. Okay, thanks, thanks, stomach model. You can go now. So it comes down to, it's not about if you're a girl or a guy. It's not about if you're fat or you're slim. It's about you're a fucking human and you need to carve the fuck up. Simple as that. Simple as that. Freely used to be overweight. I've met people who were 400 pounds and they've halved their body weight on carb the fuck up lifestyle, carb the fuck up mentality. But people say, oh, you're overweight. That, you're not an athlete. You don't need carbohydrates. I'll tell you fucking what. If you're a parent, you burn more calories a day than I am. I can close my computer, just go to sleep whenever the fuck I want. But when you got kids, that's like a 24 hour day of responsibility. You're always thinking about them. So you need more carbs so you can fucking work hard at being a fantastic parent. If you're a YouTuber and you got no kids, you can need to. Look how many videos I got up. Nobody in the health scene's got more videos up on YouTube than myself. Because I've got the energy to fucking do it. And maintain a high level of fitness. And maintain a good quality relationship. And listen to people when they meet me on the street say, Do not order. Can I ask a question? And I'm like, Fucking oath. Let me get some carbs in. You know, if I haven't had enough already. So that's the secret, carbohydrates. If you want to lose the weight, if you want to burn the blubber, you need to carb the fuck up so you can live hard and move your body around. Exercise won't be enough to burn the calories. So we want to change our metabolism by decreasing the fat, fucking off the animal products, increasing carbohydrates, eating like a lean Asian, a skinny Asian, a fast Kenyan. What the fuck do Kenyans eat? Corn, rice sugar, what the fuck do skinny Indonesians, Vietnamese, Thais eat? Rice, sugar. That's their staples, man. Rice, rice, rice. In Japan, the same saying, uh, have you eaten yet today? Are you hungry means would you like some rice? To eat lunch is the same as let's go and eat some rice. Same in Thailand, Philippines, Indonesia, Malaysia, China. To eat means to eat rice, right? <laughs> They're like that over there. Unless they get the fat in and then they... Fat you eat is the fat you fucking wear. If you're 500 pounds and you're watching this video, listen. Listen to us skinny beans. We know what fucking works. Simple as that. We're not out here to bullshit you and sell you rubbish or make you feel guilty or whatever. Bottom line.